make it another good workout. How have you felt today's gone? Yeah, like you say, it's, it's what it is. It's pre-season, and we've got every day I run it on a on a really hot day. But the players showed good levels of fitness of where we are at the minute, and it, it, like it, like always, it's something to build on. Yeah, there's things that we want to get better at, uh, as we always will do. But certainly, we're. Uh, as, as we've seen today, we're heading in the right direction. Started the game very, very strongly, and, and Callum McManaman got in the ball a lot and caused him problems, as you expect. Yeah, he's a good player, so yeah, he's, he's going to be a big player for us this season. So we're going to make sure that we supply him with the ball as much as possible, so that we can go and cause some damage for us this season. Josh Cogley seems to have settled in really well at right back as well. You must be pleased with his addition. Yeah, he's, he's listen. He's a, he's a championship player, isn't he? We, we, uh, we've done very well to, to, to get him here, so we're delighted that he's here. He has, uh, he has great athleticism. He's, he's technically he's good. And he's a winner, so yeah, he's, he'll, he'll, again he'll be, a, he'll be a big player for us this season. One addition this week, Sam Foley has joined, came on in the second half there. Uh, what will Sam bring to your squad? Well, he's a wee bit different to, to, to what we've already got. He's, he's got great experience, he knows where he needs to be in midfield um, more or most of the time. Um, and again, he's, he's, he's a lad of good experience and knows how to, to, to try and get results in this league. Mark Duffy involved today, where are you with Mark at the moment? It's, just, it's, it's on go and he, he's been with us now for, I think he's been with us for two weeks, but I think you see what he brings to your team, he gives you great control and he can sit on the ball and allow people to move higher up the pitch into dangerous positions and he, he's got the, the ability to unlock uh, defences, so he's, now he's, he's, a, he's a good player and we'll, uh, we'll be on going with that and see where, where we take that. Before the, just the end of the Rangers game, you were sort of saying you know, that the squad's still a bit light and you were talking about probably four, five, six. How close are you now? How many more do you think you need, Mickey? Oh, I still, we still need more, I think we, we know that. But we're working hard to try and do that, but we, we certainly need more um, players uh, of the quality that we think that, that will be needed to, to make an impact um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the league. But we're, we're working hard to try and uh, make that happen this, uh, over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, particular areas are you you're targeting? Uh, yeah, we, we'll keep that to ourselves, but yeah, we're, we'll, we'll, uh, we believe if we get the ones that we want to bring, we'll, we'll uh, certainly move the group forward. Has it been a difficult pre-season in that sense, I mean there were so many players out of contract, obviously such a strange situation last season as well, has that slowed things down a lot do you think this time around? I think it slowed things down but when you need, I think when, when you need so many players when you come back at any time, any football club it's going to be it's going to be difficult to, to try and turn that and many players are in um, at, at the same time if you like, so it's going to be a long kind of drawn out process but we, we know that, we, we, we do that type of recruitment you get to try many times. Um, but we'll, we'll, we've identified the people who we believe we need to bring into the group uh, and we get them in, I'm sure that we'll be a force uh, next season, this you've season. Had, yeah, and, you, and you've had two games you know, in very, very hot conditions this week. I mean, physically, how, how are the guys at the moment? Oh, they're in good, good condition. To be, to be fair, they probably could have done more, some of them, today. But we, we have one eye on the, the game on Tuesday night, which we know will be more of a, a, a game that we would expect to face. Uh, next season against a very good team who will ask us a lot more questions um, but uh, we'll, we'll be ready for that and then we'll move on to the game on Saturday and it'll be more of the same and that should get us about ready for uh, to, to try and start the season. And great to be at Warrington today, I mean you know first time in I think it's 266 days they've had a crowd here, I mean very important for, for clubs in the Northern Premier League as well to have fans like Yeah that. it's fantastic and we, we always try and support the local teams, we know that everybody knows that we have a, a brilliant support and that the people will turn up in, in big numbers to come in and watch us playing, so hopefully that will help Warrington uh, in, a, in their quest to move forward as well. But it was, yeah, you're, you're right, it was great to see so many fans here today. I've, I, this is the first game that I've had in front of fans for, um, geez, I mean, apart from the Rangers game, you're, you're looking at maybe 16 months, so it's been uh, a long time, but it certainly was nice to see people here today.